War of the Worlds has seen many iterations through the years. Whether it's the classic novel, the 2005 Hollywood adaptation, or this week's Xbox Live Arcade release, the work of H.G. Wells is known by the majority of consumers in some fashion. The question is, does the developer's other ocean take the intellectual property to a good place, or does it bring the classic story down to Tom Cruise proportions? The game is a side-scrolling action platformer that is a conduit of classic platforming games like Flashback, Out of This World, Prince of Persia, Blackthorn, and Sinbad. And that's exactly what the developers were going for. If you're someone who enjoyed those types of physics and robotic jumping mechanics, well this game is right up your alley. More of the World is set in a classic 1900s setting, and the developer definitely did right by that setting. The whole game feels like a love letter to the world created in the book and the setting in the 1940s. That being said, they're banking on the player really liking the color brown and gray since those are the base of the world's visuals. But that kind of makes sense since the game is set in London in the mid 20th century. The set pieces and events of the game are fairly engaging. Having to run from a tripod on one level to fleeing across the rooftops on the next can make for pretty exciting moments. Unfortunately, these fast paced sequences are few and far between. They're broken up with mundane platforming segments that consist of hiding from enemies, accurately time jumping, and climbing. The problem, just like in those classic platforming games of old, is that the placement of the player character has to be near pixel perfect to jump to a higher platform or grab a ledge. The animations are very pretty, but are slow and often leaves the player feeling cumbersome or unresponsive. The game has some impressive set pieces and even a scene designed to tug at the heartstrings, so the overall environment and story are fairly effective at creating a world and setting that you could really care about. The developers made great use of multiple fields of vision by putting things moving in both the background and the foreground to give the feeling of death and life to the world. One of the problems when establishing this world, however, is the frustrating trial and error nature of the gameplay and the early goings on. The game later turns more skill based, but a good chunk of the game insists on making you replay the same section of a chapter over and over again until you've committed it to memory. The narration is done by one of the best in the business, Mr. Patrick Stewart. The narration is very nice, but coupled with the frequent deaths, you're going to hear the exact same section of voiceover multiple times until you reach the next checkpoint. There's a very epic sounding orchestral soundtrack coupled with some era appropriate songs on the radio. These tunes added with an expertly crafted sound design means that there are definitely no complaints in the audio department. The game sounds great. There are some complaints with the granular workings of the game though. There are times when the game feels, please forgive lack of a better term, janky. The player character will stand up inside walls, get caught in an invisible collision, not climb up where it looks like he could, roll off a ledge when you don't want him to, and so on and so forth. War of the Worlds for Xbox Live Arcade is a great intellectual property made by one of the classiest developers in the business. Sadly, no matter how high the regard we hold the developers and publishers in, we can't dictate our view of the game. War of the Worlds does have some great moments that ease the pain of the dated gameplay mechanics. If you are looking for a game that reminds you of running around as the original Prince of Persia or Kyle from Blackthorn, this game may be worth checking out. But for the rest of us, a $10 price tag may be a bit steep for this particular game. The developers did the setting, story, and feel of H.G. Wells very proud. They also did very well by the people who were looking for the classic platforming of yesteryear. The only problem is that this style of gameplay mechanic really doesn't do well by the majority of gamers in today's market. World of the World earns a 2 out of 5.